Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the few Patreon Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. Today, we are going to be talking about and reviewing Filey Bay from Yorkshire, England, their flagship. Okay. 46% um, ABV, non-chill filtered, no coloring added. But now in the U.S., more and more uh, distilleries uh, are switching over to the 700 milliliter bottle. So we were spoiled for many years with the 750 milliliters, which a, a lot still come in that. But... I'm anticipating the way things are going, that um, once those bottles or their contracts have ended, they'll probably, um, wouldn't surprise me at all if we see more and more 700 milliliters. So you get a little less for your money than you're used to. Um, this retails in my area anywhere between $55 and $65. It is uh, non-age stated. The distillery started in the summer of 2016, okay? So, um, it's no, you know, no older than five or six years, potentially even younger than that. In my opinion, it probably is. Um, but, um, yeah. And the interesting thing about Filey Bay in Yorkshire, England, is that they grow 100% of their own barley, okay, which is pretty cool. Um, they do everything in-house, and they use a combination of pot stills and a column still in their unique process, okay. Um, so their packaging is very matter-of-factly, which is nice, and um, their tasting notes are very generalized, but... Um, I don't disagree with any of them. Light, fruity, and full of flavor, our flagship single malt is the essence of our distillery. Created from field to bottle, using 100% homegrown barley and matured in first fill bourbon casks. Tasting notes. Light, creamy, and fruity with flavors of citrus, caramel, honey, and vanilla. Um, and... It's fermented with chalk filtered water from deep beneath the Yorkshire wolds. Okay. So before I read that, my at the very end, this finishes kind of a little bit dry and chalky, which is not unusual. A lot of uh, single malts, whether they're from Scotland or other places in the world, um, sometimes I do get that. But I'm just wondering if it's uh, in direct correlation with their process that, that I get that. On the very end, it's in the, it's in the finish. Um, there is a little bit of that chalkiness. Um, all right. What else can I tell you? Um, all right. This needs time. Um, on the neck pour of this, I, I, I savor the neck pour, and I think neck pours are very interesting because they only they only happen once. On the neck pour of this, I was very disappointed. Um, it was very youthful, acetone, um, and I, I I was very disappointed and kicking myself for even having bought it. Having said that, okay, it's come a long way, and. Um, I'm really starting to appreciate it for what it is. Um, those acetone, those youthful alcohol nippy notes uh, are dissipating over time. So not only with the, um, the level in the bottle, but also um, this one in particular. Leave it in the glass port. Leave it in the glass for as, as long as you can. Um, and it will improve... Um, dramatically and again it has just with the bottle going down but the neck pour i was like oh i didn't even want to review it to be honest with you um 
So that's kind of like the going price for newer distilleries now with their non-age stated things. Um, you know, fifty-five to sixty-five dollars seems to kind of be that that range. Um, and we're going to find out with this review if it's if it's worth it. And I think it very well might be um, with a little bit of patience. Um, yeah. All right, let's get into the uh, the review, shall we? Okay. On the nose, it's uh, delicate. Um, you can tell there's, there's some youth there. But again, the more time in the glass, um, that, it, that dissipates. Um, a bit sharp at first. A um, bit spirity. The vanilla's there. The light fruit notes, very light fruit notes. A little bit of uh, floral. A little bit of candy cigarettes, which has that chalkiness, right? And then also too, I um, this this has been sitting out for a little, quite a while now, probably half hour, forty five minutes. I'm actually picking up a little bit of uh, dill pickle juice, believe it or not. Um, it's not prominent, but it's it's there, which I kind of like to be honest with you. All right, on the palate. The creaminess is there. This is a first fill uh, ex-bourbon casks. This the creaminess is, is definitely there. Um, a sweetness. A little bit of that oak spice pepper, back, black pepper prickleness is there. Just a little bit. Um, the alcohol is there. But again, over time, it dissipates. The oak spice. Maybe a little bit of melon. And the finish ends uh dry it's a medium finish with that little bit of that black pepper prickleness and that that chalkiness um is there i think um you know bourbon lovers um will appreciate this and you always hear me talking about i really am gravitating more towards um less sherry dominant and more uh ex-bourbon so you can really explore the distillate. And um, this has come a long way in a short time, just by, again, letting this breathe a little bit in the bottle, let it open up in the glass. You will be rewarded. Um, if I rated it on my neck pour, I probably wouldn't even have reviewed it. Um, then as my journey went down, I'm thinking, okay, Low to mid 80s is kind of like where my comfort zone is. And I have so many, I have a lifetime of bottles now. I don't need any more bottles. So my future, present and future purchases are really based on, I ask myself, is this a must buy, a must try? Um, and I, I'm able to eliminate quite a bit. I have bottles that I bought um, five and six years ago that I've been dying to try but I haven't even opened them yet, you know. Um, I just have such a uh, a backlog of open bottles um, that I have to be, uh, for my peace of mind, be a, a little bit on the cautious side. But as far as the pocketbook goes, I have to be very cognizant of my purchases. And uh, so I'm enjoying this journey. Um, I think it's going to improve even um, dramatically over time. Not dramatically, but mildly dramatically over time. Um, but dramatic is probably the wrong word. You can put the better word in the comments down there. So you, you're saying, okay, John, you've been talking now for a while. What do you rate it now? Um, I'm really enjoying this as it's going down. Um, I was thinking 84, 85, but now I'm thinking more like an 86, um, possibly an 87. I think some people would probably appreciate this even more than I do, but it's it's good. Um, the price is the price, and uh, you know, would I buy another bottle? Probably not, only because I have so many. Um, but yeah, um, I think this is it's it's a crowd pleaser, really, and. Um, I think just about anybody would find something to enjoy in this. Um, so that's it. I don't need to go on any further. Um, 
One more sip. Mm. Yeah, it's very, it's a very pleasant, delicate, um, enjoyable dram. We'll leave it at that. Um, and remember, folks, it's just whiskey. So hats off to you all and take care, folks. <laughs>